Spanish mackerel. Spanish mackerel are a very common, common fish found all up and down the East Coast by along the beaches. So right now we're out here at Cape Lookout, just north of Beaufort Inlet. And uh, pretty much gonna show you guys what baits the fish, how to catch them, and what materials to use. So what you're gonna be fishing is a Clark spoon. These are found at any tackle shop anywhere and they're just shiny like a fish. So what you're gonna do with the Clark spoon, you're gonna take it. I have about eight or so feet of leader with a swivel on the end. You're gonna take your Clark spoon and tie it on here with what I call a fisherman's knot. Take it, twist about eight, nine times. And then you're gonna come back down here to the bottom of it and run it through that bottom hole. So then pull it all tight. So you're not just like that stacked up on top of each other. You're also gonna need two scrolling weights, two planers. And the way a planer works is you run your clark spin with your swivel off the end of it like that. Then you attach your rod to it right here. So the planer will take the bait down deep. Well, when a fish hits it, the planer will strip and bring it up to the surface and see the fish right So, the first thing you're going to do is take your first trolling weight, hook it onto your rod, take your clark spin, put it in there just like that. Come over here to the side of the boat and put it on out there. The way these rods work, you can slide that lever up. Maybe a little bit farther than the other one, so your lines are spaced out good. Look at the fish on the boat, Dad. Good. Albies. Bunch of fish right there. So you're going to take this, let it on out, and that's your two side rods. Boom. Now on the middle line, I like to call, I like to run what is called a bird rig, and it's pretty much the same setup with the Clark spoon behind it, but this big green thing, which you can buy at any type of shop, splashes on the surface. It makes it look like there's a bunch of fish jumping, so it'll attract fish. And then just a very simple Clark spoon, again behind it, shining like a fish. Take that, put it on there. behind the boat and keep it in the middle way farther out than any other rod. You're going to take that. Let it on out there. Like I said, put it way back. So now we've got three rods out. And last but not least, we're going to take what are some hand lines. You don't run these on rods. I've already got mine fully rigged up. Same setup as the trolling weights, but instead of a trolling weight, you have your planer system on here, which, like I explained, it'll take the bait down deep, and then when a fish hits it, it'll pop up to the surface. So with these, you just come back here to the back of the boat.
for the other side of the boat. Now this, I've actually got a green one. You can buy these in all different colors, but silver is usually the most natural looking color. Take this, put it out right there behind the boat, same as the other one, and like I said, very close to the boat, five, 10 yards out. Now you just gotta wait for a bite and uh, usually once you get into them you'll catch 50 or 60 and then you'll have a great dinner for you and your family later this week. Thank you.